What's up, YouTube? So, um, apparently, there might have been the leak ban list. Um, I'm not sure how legitimate it is, but I've seen it get some attention. So, um, yeah, maybe it could be a things uh, a peak of things to come. So, <clears throat> who knows? Let's check it out. So, in a Facebook group, someone leaked the alleged one. <laughs> March 9th, they put into effect. March 8th, they leaked in the TS pack, but out of its band. Alright, then, so. Here we go. Let's see, guys. Forbidden. Norden. Now, uh, I talked about him in my balance video. Uh, I thought he could have got hit. I don't think he should have, but, um,. I don't know. I, I don't think if this does turn out to be true, I don't think this is a warranted hit. <clears throat> but let's keep going. So limited. Armageddon Knight. Yeah, I guess the Dark Draco Pals have been topping and Armageddon Knight was limited before. Um, I, I guess uh, Dark Magician of Chaos with the Errata. I think we all know that card's coming back. I mean, that's the whole point of the Errata. Idea, um, uh, this I, I don't know. This is kind of a out of nowhere. I mean, if they're gonna hit Monarchs, you might as well hit Pantheism or Stormforth. Um, I don't think this is a very good hit if this indeed is true. There are more problem cards in the deck, but um, yeah. And then Exitile Knight to one. Now, <clears throat> I thought I said it before that the only way. Exiton Knight could come back um, is if Norton got hit. So now you don't have one card Exitons. Um, I could see this happening, but I feel like it might be too soon for Exiton Knight to come back. Um, might be a while, but uh, yeah. And then the the Fiends, Majesty's Fiend and Vanity's Fiend, that's a stupid hit. <laughs> like I said, man, Stormforth and Pantheism are the problems, not these two. Sure, they're powerful now in, in the deck, but by themselves, they don't really do much. Uh, it seems like they're hitting the deck in the wrong places. Um, it's not a very good hit. And um, Zen Mighty, you know, everybody's been wanting this card to come back. I hope it does. It's a cool card. And then Draco Faceoff, I said before, this card needs to get hit. It's, it's stupid. Um, I could see that happening to one. Uh, it really does depend if they're trying to kill off Pepe for, well, it's not Pepe anymore, but Draco Pals, you know, hitting Armageddon Knight and Draco Faceoff is going to be the nail in the coffin. Um, but yeah, and then one we all saw coming, Itelli to one, um, yeah, I think the card needs to go, um, it's being abused, I mean, the Quantums are abusing it, Monarchs, <clears throat> Monarchs, you know, depending on the build. And, of course, Cosmos. It seems like a warranted hit. Um, seems like that's going to be their small hit to Cosmos. So, yeah. And then Reasoning, yes. Yes. Thank you, God. Um, reasoning needs to go. That card is stupid. Um, sure, it's not seeing a lot of play in the meta right now outside of Cosmos. But the card is just, it's stupid. It's a stupid look. Like, it's a, you get sacked by this card so much. It needs to go. Uh, Psalm Strike. Uh, I don't think this card should get hit, really. Um, it's a oh, whatever hit. Semi-limited. Whoa. Dante, really? Dante to two, huh? Um, I guess they fear what BA could become with Beatrice. I personally don't think BA will do much with Beatrice. Um, especially with the current hits it already has. Um, this is kind of strange. But, I mean, Dante did too, I guess. <sighs> uh, Wisdom Eye. Wisdom Eye needs to go to one. Uh, the card just is free advantage. It's stupid. Uh, no more needs to be said. Wisdom Eye to one. Wavering Eyes. That card needs to be flat out banned. It's stupid. Uh, it's just a complete sack in the mirror. Um, it's it's an overpowered card, really. Um, I guess since Pendulums aren't prevalent right now. Uh, with, you know, Wavering Eyes isn't, isn't as bad because, you know, the meta consists of Cosmos, Monarchs, and, you know, uh, Draco Powers or whatever variant, but still, the card is just, it's too strong, it 
should probably go. And then Unlimited, uh, Insector Hornet, since Armageddon Knight's the one. Tragodia, who the hell cares? Charge of the Light. So, that's interesting um, for uh, the Infernoid build with Lightshorns. Definitely give them a big boost. And then actual Lightshorns, of course. Full power Lightshorns are back. Won't do much now, but it's good to have them back. And then Dark Hole to three. I mean, why not? No one plays Dark Hole. And uh, Dragon's Ravine to three. Uh, I mean, why not? It's not really. Um, it's not really a big deal. But um, <clears throat> still, if this is true, still no Stratos, which is pretty trash. I mean, you got a free Stratos, bruh. And then <sighs> he's just talking about it here. Norton, uh, Lava Ball Chain's gone. I mean, I, if this is true, uh, Exiton 9 is back, so it warrants the hit. Um, I just, I think the card is a really good card. I don't think it should go. And then, like we said, we went over all these, um, you know, Majesties and Vanities, stupid hit. Uh, Exiton Knight would be pretty dope to come back. Uh, and yeah, guys, I'm, that's it for the supposed list. Um, don't know if it's true or not. If it turns out to be true, uh, pretty cool. If not, you know, I don't really care about this list at all. Uh, Dante the two, I don't really like. Um, fuck Monarchs. Fart Drake, uh, fuck Draco Pals. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and, um, apparently this should come out tomorrow, so we'll know pretty soon if this is true or not, but, um, thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace. Deuces.